Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery and I just accidentally made a fantastical creature with my colors in my dish. So I have colors left over in my dish and still have a desire to do a swipe. And this is the Maiden paint, which is different than all the rest of my paint in that I use a tiny bit of water in the Maiden, but not in anything else. It has occurred to me I might want to try some water in some other paint colors if it makes the cells that the Maiden's paint makes but I haven't got around to it yet. So, so far I just used the white and the black and they're on my Amazon link and they work very well to help me make cells. This is the OXO Omelette Turning Flip and Fold Spatula. If you're new, I'm the one who, in, who, uh, who discovered this locally and every, it's taken off and everybody uses one because it is the best paint spreading tool I think anybody knows of because the blade is so nice and thin. You can lay it down almost flat and let it glide right over the surface. Now what I'm thinking is that I'm probably going to throw that in the bucket. I'm going to grab these colors and I want to do what I did again, only I want to add more orange. They're just gorgeous. Maybe some, maybe some green this time. That's the Decor de Americana 24 karat gold with orange in it. I used some, where'd you go, some Prussian blue. I also said I wanted some silver and I didn't put any in so we can this time. The pink that you see is the uh, Prism Pour from Color Art and I'm not seeing it but I know it's here. So we'll put some more of that in there. Now because this is already messed around because I used it, this is the um, Arteza Electric Blue. I think I'm just going to dump it right out of the dish. I want some more white <clears throat> metallic. Oh, can't get that one. Maybe I got a different one. Yep. All right. So here goes nothing. Almost. <laughs> Maybe a little more turquoise. I don't see enough of that pink. I got it. I got to make sure I have it. And I have some color shifting purple flash and that's it's all going back in. And the only thing I forgot was the Venetian blue which sinks except for on the maiden. I'm going to go from the middle that way. I can tip it back and forth. I have a Princeton Artel Catalyst spatula. They are on the Amazon link and you can shop there at no other cost to you. And it helps me out. And I think no matter what else I do, I'm going to tip this up and down. Kind of want an edge catcher. I need a really short one though. I don't think there. Oh, I do know where there's a short one. Cool. Let's let that paint go over there. We don't need to waste it though. Let's let it go down and pool and come back again. Let's turn this puppy around. So when we get to the other side, and do the same thing. I don't do this very often. Let's let it all go down first. Spread out its bounty. No idea what's going to happen now. This was something I was going to try and do a few minutes ago and I didn't get away with it. But I got away with something. Okay, so I'm going to grab an OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula, take the paint right off, put it right back on, and let this dry with those beautiful colors on it so I can use that as something like a collage at some other point in time. I don't know if this is going to work or not. I kind of want, oh boy, I really want to just take some water. I'm going for it.
I've wanted to do this for a long time. I hope it doesn't suck. <laughs> I'd like it to be good, please. I am continuously using this and I have a little tiny bit of mead and paint in a dish. I don't think you can see that. And I have some right here. This is a wicked experiment. I might even wind up tipping this again. Who knows? I want a smaller card and I know I have one. Or I had one. There it is. I'm going to put some more paint on my card. No idea what this is going to be like. Freaking out just a little bit. <laughs> Those are pretty cells. Well, I'll know if I don't want to do it again. I'm going to leave some of the stuff behind. I want an even smaller card. No, I like the puddles. I've always liked the puddles. Let's see if I can cut a smaller card. I've got scissors handy. So I'll just take... I'm just going to cut this, what, about that wide? Really light finger pressure. Might be really cool. No way to tell yet. I don't want to take that out of there. But I do want to use my small card to continue to make marks that might keep, be concern, considered cohesive. We'll see. <laughs> I'll run that right along the edge. And then I could probably drag a skewer up and down through the middle, or if my puddles move, that could be really cool. Let's grab a little bit more wet paint. because I think that might be exactly what I've been thinking about. I just wasn't sure of it until I saw it. Okay, I want to leave that pink. I'm going to go back to the medium size card. I do seem to have enough paint. It's going to be different. I could probably add another color in there. I kind of want to try it. There's nothing stopping me. And go back to that little tiny card again. I know I didn't really want to do anything to that, but... Now, do I like it enough, or do I want to grab a spatula? kind of think the spatula is going to work. I am very curious, though, as to what would have happened if we'd have tipped. This end doesn't have a lot going on down here thinking I might want to take whatever I can get out of my pan of colors before I throw it into the bucket. Probably didn't need to do that. They were kind of pretty before I did that. pink in there. I kind of want some. Do 
just to let the eye move around a little bit. So you don't need the, the Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatula particularly, you just need a thin blade and to not flip the paint that you're dragging over sideways if that's if you feel about it like I do. I gold nugget. Probably a Deco Art Americana 24 karat gold nugget. I could have put some white in there. I could still put some white in there. Or silver. That was the silver. It's probably an Arteza. That's not coming out. It, de it decided in the end where it was going. Okay. Let's hope paint will still flow. And if it won't, I'll just drag the skewer through it. But that's that's my perfect excuse for giving myself permission to tip the painting when I thought it was pretty well done. I think better a skewer than the card at this point. Or even a better a spatula. Waggle that back and forth a little bit. Is that enough? I kind of like it. I kind of think it needs more. At this point, it's just helping itself by dripping out of the front. But I think it's going to be okay. Pretty sure. Hope, hoping so. Just sort of dropping the spatula onto it and then pushing it back and forth a little bit. Kind of missing one in here. If you just drag the spatula through once, you get hearts. I'm not really looking for hearts right at the moment. I just want some light in there. Wherever I want it. And then I'll call it good. And there's almost 92,000, or there might be 92,000 subscribers on my channel by now. So if you're new, please be welcomed. If you're not new, thanks for still being here. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. We'd love to have you. And I'm pretty well done with that. I just have to decide if it's as done as I want it to be. I like the little white things. Do I have enough of them spread around? That's the question. And what are they? Who knows? <laughs> I don't know. They're just uh, something to add a little interest to the eye. I'm going to torch this to release the bubbles caught in the paint. I'm going to tell you guys... Please give me a thumbs up. When you watch the videos longer, you help help my channel out. The same as your comments help me out. They boost my morale and they help my channel out too. When you watch when the notifications come out, that's big assistance. Your comments are definitely helpful. When you watch the video longer, it's helpful. When you give me a thumbs up, of course it's helpful. I kind of want some other color dot and I am almost out of this But I kind of feel like it's the perfect thing to use it for because it will just make a party. <laughs> it's a party favor. Yeah, I really, really love that color and I want more of it. I got two. Do I have it? 
evenly spread enough. I kind of want it everywhere, which is convenient because that seems to be where it wants to go too. Trying to be very random. It's working so far so good. Maybe not as random as I wished. Yep, I'm happy with that. I know it's kind of strange, but um, so am I. <laughs> so that's okay. And uh, I see this thing here that could use to be pulled on. And that, and that, and that. Wow. I guess I wasn't done. That's really different. And I like it. And yes, I did. I just did that. <laughs> cool. Thank you for joining me. I love you guys. You inspire the heck out of me. I really appreciate you being here. Check out my link tree for my Amazon link and shop there at know what it costs you. Find the OXO omelet turning flip and folds, flip and fold spatula and my two books because I can and unlimited possibilities and all kinds of other great stuff there. Look on the link tree for Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. Totes and more will take you to pixels.com and Fine Art America if you press the shop now button. Some colors. It didn't work out exactly like I thought, but I also didn't swipe the way I thought. It's all about how much color, how much paint, how heavy the layer is, I think. It's a lot of experimentation to do. So check out my community board for tomorrow's video. Know that I have 1,800 videos organized onto 18 lists of 100. One, the 19th list is being populated, and the rest are separated into topic and genre. If you would like to join the monthly drawing, there are paintings to be won, and you can find out what the prizes are on the exhibition video. On the end screen of every video, there is an exhibition video. My drawing is at the end of the month, and uh, right before the beginning of the next month. And if you have questions, please ask me. If you want my paint pouring, paint pouring recipe, it's Delo. <laughs> it's Delo? Hmm. It's, hmm. It's below Show More. Underneath the video, you have to click Show More, and it will open up and give you my paint pouring recipe. What else? Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links are on the link tree. My email address is the way to contact me. If you are interested in an artwork, use the hashtag and the file number in the title of the video. If you are interested in looking at the albums of edited artworks from YouTube videos, you want to go to Facebook group Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors. Uh, I also give ha classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. I love to have your thumbs up. I just want to slip that right in there again. And Teespring clothing below the video is mine. And you can ask for what you can't find and I will add it. Same thing on pixels.com and Fine Art America. If you find a product there and it doesn't have the design you want on it and you, can, you know what design you want, just ask me. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery going. That was kind of a wild ride. This looks a lot better in person than it does through the lens of the camera right now. But All right, take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now. I'll see you when on.